Hello friends, we have seen in our first few video of ratio, when we have relation, how we merge the ratio, we cross multiply the relation value. But if we are not able to find relation, how can we merge ratio? Like this a plus 3b upon c is equal to 7 by 5, a plus 2c upon 3b is 11 by 6. I am not able to find any relation between these two ratio very easily. If you are not able to find relation, then one of the best method is to solve equation. How? Cross multiply, that is nothing but 5a plus 15b is equal to 7c. So it is nothing but 5a plus 15b minus 7c is equal to 0. Here we can say 6a plus 12c minus 33b is equal to 0. So we have two equations in three variables and equal to 0. So our concept video is all about if we have three variables, two equations equal to 0. If we have four variables, three equations equal to 0. Means if we have n variable or n minus 1 equations and equal to 0, how we get ratio and solve equations. I hope this one is clear. According to the basic algebra concept, if we have three variables and two equations, we cannot find the exact value of the variables, but we can find ratio if all are equal to zero. I am again repeating, if we have three variables, two equations, number of equations is less than the variable, just one less than the variable and that equal to zero, we cannot find the exact values of variables because finding the variables, we need n equations for n variables. Here the equation is less than one, but equal to zero. So we can find ratios. How? First of all, we eliminate A and find a relation between B and C. Okay. Then we'll eliminate B, then find a relation between A and C and merge the ratio. But that would be a cumbersome work. Eliminating one, solving another, eliminating one and solving for the B and C, then eliminating one, then solving for the A and C or A and B, then merging the ratio would be a tough task. For this, we are going to use for this, we are going to use the determinant method. First, let's check what do we mean by determinant method. If we have a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to 0, equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal to 0. If we have three variables, two equations equal to 0 or n variables n minus 1 equations equal to 0 we can find ratio directly and the ratio of variables x y z here the variables are x y z and a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 are nothing but the coefficients the ratio of this is if you are looking for x just forget about x we have b1 c1 b2 c2 we have b1 c1 b2 c2 about x then minus forget about y we have a1 c1 a2 c2 we have a1 c1 a2 c2 if looking for z forget about a z we have a1 b1 a2 b2 a1 b1 a2 b2 and this is the ratio of x y z this is the ratio of variables but the middle term should have negative sign the cofactor and joint terms I'm not going to discuss the cofactor and joint terms, but I say if we have n variables and n minus 1 equations equal to 0, we can find the ratio directly from the determinant concept. And what do you mean by determinant concept? If we have determinant like b1, b2, c1, c2, it is nothing but the b1 into c2 minus b2 into c1, the cross multiply and minus. But the middle term should be negative. I am again repeating for the beginners. If you have these sort of questions in your examination, I would say write the equation for the x. Forget about the x. You have b1, c2, b2, c1 and minus. If you want y, forget about the y. You have a1, c2, a2, c1 and minus. But for the y, again minus. If you have z, forget about the z. a1, b2 minus a2, b1 is your required ratio. I hope this one is clear. Believe me, this one is an easy one if you practice it. So let's solve our questions. 
we have ratio 6a plus 12c minus 33b. We write this just below to this 6a minus 33b plus 12c is equal to 0 and we need to find the ratio of a is to b is to c. The ratio of a forget a is 15 into 12 cross multiply 15 into 12 that is multiplied not a point sign 15 into 12 minus minus 33 into minus 7 that is plus of 33 into 7 but minus that is 33 into 7 b b is a middle term so it should be negative we forget about these two terms 5 into 12 5 into 12 minus 6 into minus 7 6 into minus 7 this is b what about c c is forget about the c that is 5 into minus 33 so i am writing c here in this because we do not have much space that is 5 into minus 33 minus 6 into 15 6 into 15 and this is our ratio and now solve we will get a is to b is to c so 15 into 12 is 180 minus 33 into 7 is 231 so this will give minus 51 now check b 5 into 12 is 60 minus 6 minus 7 is 42 60 plus 42 with negative sign is nothing but minus 102 now check c 5 into minus 33 is minus 165 and minus 6 into 15 is nothing but 90 minus 165 minus 90 is nothing but minus 255 and if we simplify this negative sign cancel out 51 is common in all that is 51 is to 2 is to 5 and this is our required ratio and the simplest form i hope this one is clear for better understanding let's practice with one more example we have questions a plus 2b upon a plus c is 5 by 7 a plus b upon b plus c is equal to 3 by 8 we are not able to find any relation in the variables so make a equation 7a plus 2b upon a plus c equal to 5 that is 7 minus 5 is 2a plus 14b minus 5c is equal to 0 it's our first condition that is 8a plus 8b minus 3b that is nothing but 8a 8a minus 3b plus 5b and minus 3c equal to 0 is our second condition three variables two equation equal to zero so we can find a is to b is to c a forget about the a 14 minus 3 is minus 42 then cross multiply minus sign 5 and minus 5 multiplication is minus 25 this is about a what about the b b is always the middle term in the negative forget about the b 2 into minus 3 is nothing but minus 6 and minus 8 into minus 5 is minus 40. Now check the C. Forget the C. 2 into 5 is nothing but 10. Minus 8 into 14 is nothing but 112. So minus 42 minus minus plus 25 is nothing but 17 in a negative term. Then minus. That is plus 60. Minus 6 is nothing but 34. And minus is minus 34. What about this? 112 minus and 10 is nothing but minus 102 minus 17 is common everywhere so we can say this is nothing but 1 this is nothing but 2 and this one is 6 so our ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 6 so let's solve a question on this concept okay our first and last question of this concept video is in front of you i would suggest pause the video and solve the question i hope you have solved the question question is we have data a plus 2b upon c minus a is nothing but 16 is to 7 and a plus 4b upon b plus c is 15 is to 8 and we need to find how many possible values are there if a plus b plus c are the positive integers means we need to find the ratio and the simplest ratio and we'll have to check how many possible value we will get for a plus b plus c less than 100 first we have 16 is to 7 that is by 7 7 is the here that is 7 a minus 16 is 23 a i am writing equation directly 7 a minus 16 is 23 a 
that is plus 14b 16c comes here minus 16c is equal to 0 this is our first equation from first condition second equation that is 8a alone plus 32b minus 15b is nothing but 17b minus 15c is equal to 0 is our second condition now we need to find ratio of a is to b is to c a forget about a for a forget about a we need 14 into minus 15 for a we need 14 into minus 15 minus 17 into minus 16 17 into minus 16 for b we need a negative sign middle term forget about a b we need 23 into minus 15 we need 23 into minus 15 minus 8 into minus 16 and for c if you forget the c that is 23 into 17 23 into 17 minus 8 into 14 if we solve 14 into minus 15 minus 17 into minus 16 we will get nothing but 6 if you solve 23 into minus 15 minus 8 into minus 16 is nothing but 217 and if you solve 23 into 17 minus 8 into 14 which is nothing but so you have to do some calculation for these type of questions in all three 31 is common so i took 31 out that is 2 is to 7 is to 9 so this is our simplest form of a is to b is to c and we want how many values of a plus b plus c that is nothing but 2 plus 7 plus 9 this is how much 18 so this is the least value because all other ratio terms so we want the multiple of 18 less than 100 how many multiple of 18 less than 100 is only 5 till 90 so we have 5 multiple of 18 which is the least term in the ratio form so answer is 5 we have 5 multiple of 18 so the possible positive values of a plus b plus c less than 100 is only 5 this is this one is one of the best method if you know determinant i hope this one is clear but if you feel you have some doubt you can ping me either on this video thread or on facebook thank you and happy learning